It is American culture to think in terms of net zero spending, meaning when I have 10 grand in my bank account, I think, how can I spend this 10 grand? When I have $500 in my bank account, I'm thinking, how can I spend this $500? What things can the cash in my bank account buy me, which will bring me back to net zero, which is $0 in my bank account? We live in a consumerism culture where it's completely normal not just to spend at my means, but even beyond my means, where it's very weird to have extra cash in the bank, where it's very strange to not spend all the money you're making. But if you want to become wealthy, you can't keep doing what everybody else does. Because if you keep doing what the majority of people do, you're going to end up like the majority of people, which financially is broke. Each one of us has two currencies that we can exchange for more money. We can exchange our time for more money, or we can exchange our money for more money in the future. If you don't have any money right now, you got to start using your time more wisely that we can use your time to earn more money. That means for one, stop blowing your money on things that aren't producing you any money. That means stop going out to eat at restaurants, stop traveling, stop spending money on things that aren't producing you an income. And second, stop wasting your time on things like Netflix and Hulu that aren't producing you a return. When you have money, now go out and watch as many shows as you want because you can afford to spend your time doing that. But when you don't have the bank account, to prove it, stop blowing these currencies. I grew up with traditional Indian parents, and in the traditional Indian household, it is a save heavy household. The way that I like to say it is American people make a dollar to spend two dollars, while Indian people make a dollar to spend 20 cents. It's a different way of thinking. And so I was bred with this idea of make money and save as much of it as possible. What do you do with the savings? You just leave it in your bank account and you let it sit there because now when you have a big bank account, it makes makes you feel safer that you have cash in the bank. Now, yeah, there's benefit to having cash in the bank. There's benefit to having the security. But if you're just leaving your cash in the bank, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to ever achieve any real wealth. And second, you're never going to be able to enjoy this money because cash in the bank doesn't do anything. Money only provides value when you spend it. And if you have this pure saving mentality where I don't want to spend a penny, I want to save every dollar possible, you're never going to be able to enjoy the money that you're working hard to save. I want you to be a strategic saver and what that means is save somewhere between 3 months and 12 months worth of expenses. Figure out what your monthly costs are, whether it's 3 grand or 30 grand, multiply that number by 3 and then multiply that number by 12. Once you see these two numbers, this is the range of how much money you should save in an emergency account. That way, if something goes wrong, your kid breaks their arm, you lose your job, something happens. You have cash to fall back on and you're not going to have to worry about going into debt to continue taking care of your and your family's finances. Once you hit that savings goal, now you don't want to be saving more money just to save it. Now you save money strategically. You can save money for a big purchase like a house or a car. You can save money for an investment. But you don't want to just save this money because you have nothing else to do with it. It. You can save your money with the intention of investing it, but this is where understanding if you're doing that, then your goal should be trying to invest that money. That way you can grow the money. Because now, if you take this cash and you start investing it and you can generate cash flow, it's going to be much easier for you to start spending money because you know the income that you're getting. Even if you have a million dollars in your bank account right now, well, as soon as you start spending that million, that million is going to start dwindling away. It doesn't matter how much cash you have. If you have a still amount of cash in the bank, it's going to start going down as soon as you start spending that money. This is where you want to turn that cash into cash flow. And the only way you can turn your dead cash into active cash is if you take the cash from your savings and you put it into an asset, whether it's stocks that pay dividends, whether it's real estate, whether it's something that produces cash flow, because now your dead cash is a live cash and it's coming back every single month. Once you have that, now it's much easier for you to spend money because you don't got to worry about your bank account going to zero. You have cash coming in every single month or every single quarter, and now you know how much you can spend. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>